How should you set up the camera for your indie game? The footage you see here is from our game The Friendly Skunk, with three requirements for the camera controls. One, the camera must tightly follow the player. Two, it should be easy to add effects like shaking. And three, the camera movement must be smooth without ever falling behind. To achieve this, I divided the game object that holds the camera into three parts. The inner game object is for the camera and special effects are applied to this directly. A parent game object that smoothly follows the camera target, and an outer game object that follows the player's movements one to one. You might wonder, how will the middle box ever move if the outer box is stuck to the player? Well, the final piece of this puzzle is to introduce a separate camera target that you move relative to the player. You can move it forward in the direction of movement, or down if you're standing next to a ledge. You can also just move it wherever, during a cutscene for example. And that's it. Simple, clean, and applicable in any project.